Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. My name is Jake. Welcome to my show. It's Thursday, which means New Brew Thursday. Uh, you can find me uh, at tubajake underscore 69 all on uh, untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I'd like to hear them. Uh, today, I have Larry's Last. It's an oatmeal imperial stout, 10% ABV, uh, brewed and bottled at Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. It's down there by Kalamazoo. Uh, it's supposed to be really good stuff. This is the last one that Leary is making um, or has made. Uh, it is not being distributed by independent craft brews, apparently. Uh, so it's being distributed by their new owners in uh, New Belgium, which there's a bunch of other places that they're being run through. But this is the one for today. It's got Larry Bell on it. He's he's really a pretty cool dude. He's been brewing beer for a long time. Let's get this guy open so that we can decant into the glass. So this glass that I'm drinking it out of, it's probably not the right one to drink an oatmeal stout out of, but I got this one from Bell's way back in the day. So I figured probably not the worst idea to drink out of it for this one. Probably a pretty important one. Larry would want it that way. Uh, so it's an Imperial Stout, uh, which means it's going to be higher in ABV. Uh, this one is 10% ABV, which is heavy. Um, the oatmeal in it is going to make it have a, a more full mouth feel. If it were clear, you'd be able to see the oatmeal in it because it would be cloudy. Uh, but as it's a stout, it is dark, which is awesome. I like stouts. They're delicious. Um, so it should be boozy and stout is the hope, right? Not quite as boozy as I was expecting it to be, but you can taste the, that there is alcohol in this for sure. It's sweet, uh, dark malt flavor, which is pretty good. Um, usually there's some, uh, there's, there's definitely some chocolate flavor to it. There's definitely some vanilla flavor to it. I mean, it's a good stout. It's heavy, but it's a good stout. Um, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of uh, hmm, what does this remind me of? There's not a lot of these that I've had recently. An Imperial Stout? Uh, um I mean the Bell's Imperial Stout, obviously. I believe I've had one of those. Um Uh, Founders Russian Imperial Stout would be another one. I mean, there are porters that this kind of reminds me of, too. Um, porters are generally a little bit more boozy than, than stouts. But this one being an Imperial Stout is going to be generally more boozy than a porter. A porter will usually run you about 7% because the porters in England like to have a beer that they felt that they were getting their money's worth out of, which means more alcohol in it. What does this remind me of? Well, I mean, because it's Bell's, it reminds me of going to Bell's. The Eccentric Cafe in Kalamazoo is an amazing place to go. If you've never had a chance to go, definitely go. Um, one random Saturday, I decided to go with a friend of mine, and we just happened to stumble upon the 25th anniversary of Bell's Brewery. And that was a lot of fun. They had a polka band out back, um, and that was a blast. This was before they'd redone the interior of the Eccentric Cafe. But drinking outside is always better, so obviously we went outside where the band was. Um, but there's 
there are nice places to go upstairs and in the eccentric cafe and i spent i spent most of an afternoon morning afternoon into the evening and at the uh, top deck of the of the eccentric cafe's tap room it was a good time my sister who doesn't drink was there um, my brother, who does drink, was there. My sister-in-law, who had one, maybe two, possibly. And she ended up driving us home, which was awesome, because I shouldn't have. Um, my friend Dom, you might have heard me talk about, he was there. Um, he, uh, he came over from the Detroit area, because uh, it was on spring break. Brought some friends with him. Uh, Jay, you might hear me talk about him every once in a while. I I once saw, well, that's the first place that I saw Jay's jacket that had the map of Michigan drawn on it with like, it looked like it was a finger painted map of Michigan. But like all the little pieces that were supposed to be there were there. He was like, yeah, so I, this is definitely my jacket. I bought it. Uh, it did not have that on there. And then one day I woke up after a night of hard drinking and it was there. I don't know who did it. I may have done it. I had white out on my fingers. But I don't remember doing it. But it was a very cool jacket, and I'm pretty sure that he lost it. And unfortunately, I can't ask him anymore because uh, Jay passed a little while ago. A, a little while, like a few years ago. Um, and that was super weird. He he was one of the owners of a, bur of a uh, meadery in Hazel Park. Uh, with Dom and a couple of other friends. And they sold it since then. I don't even know if they actually sold it or, or if they just shut it down. But Sellerman's was a pretty cool place. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, Dom is supposed to open something else up, but he hasn't told me anything about what he's doing next. Last I knew, it was supposed to be like uh, an Irish pub. In uh, oh, someplace else down near Detroit, um, like Quasson, maybe I'm not sure, but Dom was pretty, Dom is a pretty cool dude. You get to see him every once in a while, but not real often. New kid who he just posted a picture of actually recently. The kid's so old. It's weird. Like, two. Uh, but anyway, Bells. Um, lots of really good memories of Bells in college. They introduced me to craft beer. Um, Oberon was super accessible. So I drink that. Like... Oh, I like this. Let's try something else that's different than this. Yeah, Bells makes good beer. Let's keep drinking more Bells stuff. Oh, this one's from, this Founders is from Michigan too. Let's try that. I'm pretty sure that Oberon really was my introduction to craft beer. It's disappointing that Larry sold, but also... I mean, more power to him. Wish he could have kept it in his family. I know his daughter was, was running most of the operations recently. But, I mean, maybe she still is. Just without having to do all of the business stuff. That'd be nice. We'll see how it works out. That was real good. There's no way I could drink six of those. Four? No, probably not. Two in a day? Okay. And then a bunch of the uh, all-day IPA, maybe. But those are heavy. I got a quote for you. It's from Mark Twain, uh, the world's first stand-up comedian. Uh, Mark Twain, he says, Courage is resistance to fear. Mastery of fear, not absence of fear. So if you're afraid of something, that makes sense. 
have courage. Put up with the fear. Eventually, you won't be afraid anymore. All right, don't forget, you can find me on Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all it under Jake, under uh, Tuba Jake underscore 69. Untap YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, to a Jake underscore 69. That one. Tell me your stories. I'd like to hear them. You can catch me next time when you've got time for a beer.